that trust. What? Papa Black Sheep, have you been here well? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Did we wake you? No, I thought I was missing out on all the fun, so I thought I'd get up. We've been having a sing-song, haven't we, Ruth? Yes. You know what? I can't believe I'll be celebrating my first Father's Day this time next year. That's for you. What is it? Happy Father's Day, Daddy. Love from baby. Thanks. Just a baby's idea. I thought Father's Day's ever meant to me was Get me dad some cheapo card and our Jackie making me go off on some sad jumper. Well, from now on, you'll be the one who's getting the cards and presents. Oh, no. What? I forgot to send Simba a card from Ruth. My mum always sends him one. I'll just get him one from the garage and take it over to him later. No, he'll know straight away that I forgot. Oh, I feel terrible now. Especially after everything that's happened lately. Maybe I should do something special for him, try and cheer him up. What, like? I don't know. Like a surprise little tea party with just us three and Simbad. Yeah, he'd love that. You think so? Yeah, definitely. Would you like a party with your daddy? Right, well, I'll get some shopping in and I'll make a cake and do some butties and stuff like that. I'll trap a little mother, eh? Well, there's nothing wrong with that, is there? Get off of me, you! <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. You've missed the sun nice. Oh, where's he been? What's he doing? Oh, you should have seen it. It was amazing. Well, why didn't you wake us up? I, I was going to, but I was just mesmerised. The sun rose, the stones lit up, they were glowing. Oh, it was boss. Did you kill the hamster? Nah, only virgins can do the sacrifices. So, uh, what stopped you then, eh? Hey, I'm no virgin. Madam Palm and her five lovely daughters don't count, you know. Hey! I think it's dead. It's not. Well, I bet it's because we overslept, though. Mm. Leon Jerome didn't come back. Ah, they really missed out on him. On what? Being freezing all night? At least he could have done was come to pick us up. So, uh, was it real, like? Oh, it was mind-blowing. I was just buzzing. Imagine what Stonehenge is going to be like then. Oh, I can't wait. Busy. Let's oh. go. Come on, let's go. Yeah, we haven't done anything. Dressed like this? He will think of something. Yeah, let's go before we start poking those in. Grab the stuff. Let's go, come on. You can't sleep either. I woke up earlier on, I couldn't get back to sleep then. I stayed out all night, you know. I know I promised to treat Leo like an adult, but it doesn't stop you worrying about him. I've never had the other week, hardly spoken to each other. Well, as a mob with him, he'll be okay. It doesn't stop you worrying, though, does it? Is that off Gemma? No way I'll be getting one off Leo this year. I won't get one off Ruth either. I think Rachel must have forgot. Maybe they'll get one later. Doubt it. Oh, look at the pair of us, eh? Father's Day. Neither of us have had a good night's sleep. Who'd be a dad, eh? Look full of us. I hope not. Oh, God, it's a getaway bus. You know, I'm going to kill Leo. Should the Major Home come and pick us up? Like it!
do you think? <laughs> this boss all night alone. What are you doing? Getting legs. You buy? The business. Go. <laughs> Stupid hamster's got an escape from its cage again. Gemma's up there now, ripping the place apart, trying to find it. <laughs> hey, you've got to come and see this. <laughs> what the...? Don't forget these. Quick, lash arms, my dad's looking. We'll bring the stuff for Stonehenge over later. Jack, we should set off about tea time. See you. It's getting flakier by the minute. Now I'll be all right once we go to Stonehenge. You know, all them druid women. Really? Yeah, really real. I mean, the snogging kind. <laughs> the freaks. Go easy. Don't want to start arguing with them again, do you? All right. Where have you been on this? Yeah, me and Jay went to a party and then we went and picked up the others from the park on the way home. I thought you might have been in trouble or something. We weren't that honest. I'm sorry. Okay. Is it okay if I go and take a shower? I feel dead minty. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I need to get my head down as well. I'm knackered. What were you doing out all night in the park with them two overgrown altar boys? Oh, it's just a Jewish thing. I'm starving. I don't know I'm going to sort things out between me and Leo. You will. Happy Father's Day. Don't remind me. Look, why don't you give Rachel a call? Maybe go around and see Ruth. No. Now we had a Mike have probably got things planned. Nah, I'll just leave them to it. I'll go out and have a walk in there. You've got two minutes. I'm not waiting all day. Oh, how are you? All right. I'm just going out for Father's Day lunch. Oh, well, um, I'm dropping Katrina and the children off at her parents. She's having them for the day. All right. I said I'd drop Jason off there later, after I drop Emily at her mates. I'll be uh, seeing you later, then. Yeah. I just wish we were going away, but there's no chance. Mm. Well, don't worry. Nobody knows what we're talking about. Imagine if they did. <laughs> Most of them are too busy to care. Everyone seems to be going through some crisis or other. Lindsay was telling me that her mum and dad are living apart. I thought there was something odd going on over there. Oh, apparently Jackie just got tired of Jimmy's job ruling his life. Yeah, well, I know what that feels like. Margie will be busy planning a European job of a lifetime as we speak. I don't know how me and the kids are supposed to fit in. Well, I wouldn't play the badly done martyr too much, not considering what we'll be getting up to this afternoon. See you later. Oh, I feel better for that. Can I borrow you the old jelly? Yeah, there's some on the shelf. <laughs> I'm back at last. Thought your dad was really going to kick off, then, you? Nah, he knows the score now. I can do what I like. <laughs> yeah. As if. I'm telling you. There's more you need to tell. Try command that Mick downstairs. I know, yeah. Have you told them you're going to Stonehenge yet? Not yet, but it's got nothing to do with it. Yeah, OK. Here's a bit. Hey, do one. Get your own, you ming. I bother with me. can have some of yours. You losers. <laughs> Where are you going, Jay? My mum wants me to take her to the cemetery because it's Father's Day. Do you mind? No, not really. It's just... My dad used to say Father's Day. He used to say it was a big rip-off, so I can't see the point in taking her. But if she wants to go, then I'll take her. When we were little, my mum used to always take her to my dad's grave. And I hated it. This will be the first time I've been since he died. I mean, I can hardly remember me, our fella. I'm looking picture him, but I can hardly remember him, like, being around, like. Sometimes I forget me dad's gone, you know. Whenever I hear something that I think will make him laugh, I just can't wait till I know him and tell him. At the times I remember, though. I'll catch you back here later, yeah? Thanks. That might be in, though. Oh, I hope not. I wanted it all to be ready. You like it? Yeah. Morning. All right, Dad. 
It's all right, Rach. It's only me dad. Oh, only me dad? That's very nice, isn't it? Hiya, love. Hey, something smells good in here. Have you got a cake in the oven as well as a bun? <laughs> We're having a little Father's Day tea party for Ruth and Sinbad. Oh, very nice. You'll still be coming around to Anthea's with us all later, though, won't you? Yeah. Oh, great. Uh, Mike, I could do with some help here. Do you want to start making the butties? Ruth, don't go near the oven. It's burning hot. Listen, uh, do you want me to take the little one out of your way for an hour? I can take it down to Great Granny's with me. Thanks, but she's OK. I don't mind, you know. I'll get her some sweets in the garage and then she can do some drawing while I'm potting around the office. Yeah, I'll give you the chance to finish off. Are you sure you don't mind? No, of course I don't. And listen, no need to worry, she'd be fine. She was born in my Moby, this little one, you know. I practically delivered her. Do you want some sweeties? Yes, please. I'm off to me, Mars. You know, Father's Day and all that. Oh, nice one, she'll appreciate that, sir. You know, she's still upset about you blowing all that money, you know. Look, me. I know my dad wants me to use the money for university and that, but I know he wouldn't want me to do something I didn't want to either. Yeah, I know, but if he was still here, he would have encouraged you to carry on studying. Yeah. But he's not, is he? I'll catch us later. Uh, see you later, Jay. Here you go, Dad. I didn't want to give it to you in front of your own. I felt a bit, you know. Cheers, son. Thought you'd forgotten. And I wanted to say sorry about the way things have been. I shouldn't have said those things the other day. Yeah, well, I suppose I was as much to blame. I still think Jerome's made a big mistake, though. And now he thinks about his dad loads, and now he wants them to go to university, but if his heart's not in it, what's the use? Yeah, I suppose so. I just know that's what his dad wanted more than anything. Anyway, nice one, son. Thanks. No money? Hi, what's all this then, doctor's orders? Just trying to run off my hangover, to be honest with you. Oh, this is the uh, medical solution, is it? <laughs> um, quick sprint in the fresh air, followed by a swim. Works for me every time. Leaves me feeling human again. Really? Well, I think I'll stick to the air of the dog routine myself. <laughs> Careful now. Hello. My name's Darren. What's yours? This is Ruth. Say hello. Hello. You're a bit young to be one of Mr. Dixon's great-grannies. Are you a great-granddaughter? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just looking after her for half an hour. Even I'm not into child labor. Hey, you know, there's been plenty of times when I've wanted to go to the cinema, see a kid's film. But I couldn't because I didn't have anyone to take. Might be a market there for you. I'll bear that in mind. Right. Well, I can't put it off any longer. Bye. I'll see you now. Bye, Ruth. Come on, then. You want to play brushing up again? Hey! Wait there, you. What's my little girl doing with you? I'm just looking after her for Rachel. Oh, don't I get a say in it? I should be looking after her, not you. Well, I think you should go and see Rachel and let her explain everything. What's you better, Dad? Because I don't want my little girl with the likes of you. Hey, hang on a minute. I'm just doing a favour here, you know. You mean you're acting like the big family man again? The head of the Dixon dynasty, as usual? Well, not with my kid, you don't. You know what? I reckon you're just having a go at me because you're jealous. Why would I ever be jealous of you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because I've got my family and my business. And you've got nothing and no one. Yeah, well, we all know that's down to you, don't we? Hey, hey, nothing to do with me. You've only got yourself to blame. Yeah. But one day, Dixon. One day. Looks great. I've probably made too much. No, I'll not get eaten. Soon better be made up. I hope so. I really want to make things up to him. Yeah, well, this should do it. Oh, no, I didn't want to see you yet. Like you didn't want to see me when our Ruth needed minding. What's the matter? Our eyes trustworthy as Ron Dixon. Hang on, Sim. I really expected better from you, Rachel. I mean, how do you think I feel when I see our Ruth being minded by someone like Ron Dixon? Him of all people. And on Father's Day as well. We didn't ask you because we've been busy doing all that. I wanted to do something special for you, a surprise. There you go. <laughs> That's a good girl. You help your Uncle Ron keep the place nice and tidy. <laughs> Hello, great grannies. How are you, Anth? Yeah, <laughs> just catching up on all that stuff I've been putting off for ages, you know. 
Yeah. Uh, what time do you want us over there? Oh, well, that's all right, isn't it? Gives me a bit more time to sort this place out. No, no, uh, our Jack is making her own way, so we'll be today. All right, love. Yeah. Tra! Oh, my God, Bruce! <laughs> I thought you were never going to turn up. We'll have to get Jason and Emily safely out the way. I'm all yours now. <sighs> Can't this wait? I'm knackered. Come on, you. I don't want nothing to do with it. You're the druid. My man nearly dropped when she looked in that container. You look at the Amsterdam never jumped out. The poor thing was more scared than she was. You better get it back to our gems, Jim. How oh, can I? Gem is up there and your dad's in the living room. I don't care. Just get it out of my car. All right. Thought we'd make a start loading up. How much are you taking? The lot if we can fit it in. Oh, I thought I'll fudge still in that thing. That's cruelty, that. You want us to sacrifice it? No, it's just a grin. To get you to admit to being a virgin. So, you're looking forward to Stonehenge, then? I suppose so, yeah. But I better start seeing the return on the money I put up for this gear. You will. We'll make loads of money when we're down there. And we'll get to see the solstice, the real one. What are you lot plotting now? We're just planning our trip to Stonehenge. Yeah, we were thinking of going down there for a few days. Sounds like it could be a laugh. Make sure you behave yourselves. Yeah, of course we will. Why can we put some petrol in the car in the corner and chip you on it? Oh, listen, uh, do us a favour, will you? Have a look round for fudge. I oh, still can't find him. Um, I'm sure he'll be around somewhere. He can't have got far. Yeah, see you later. Come here, then. Let's make a start getting the rest of the stuff. This is going to be a better trip. Please, it's Ruth. What's the matter? Send me back for a second. She swallowed some bleach. Right, let's have a look at her. Have you got an ambulance? Yeah, that's on its way. <laughs> All right, darling. Ah, I'm never looking at you. There's a break, girl. <gasps> What's up? She swallowed some cleaner fluid. <laughs> you what? Look, can you please keep it down? I'm trying to examine her. How bad is she? Well, her mouth's burnt. That's all I can tell right now. Is she going to be okay? I don't know how much she swallowed or how much damage has been done. I'll have to check that out at the hospital. It's all right, Ruth. You're going to be okay. <laughs> the phone man's only turned me back for a second. <laughs> you stupid. All right, not now. Sinbad. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, of course. Well, where is it then? All right, sir. So I'll call it again if it's not a issue. Listen, the hospital will want to see what it is that you drank. Can you get it? <laughs> What's happened? Sorry, Ron gets it. Again! Look, I don't know the local history, but you're not exactly being helpful. And you're upsetting Ruth. She wouldn't be like that if it wasn't for him. Mommy, Oh, come on. Please hurry up. It's all right, Ruth. The ambulance is going to make you better. How can I, eh? After what you've done now. Substance was some sort of bleach, but we don't know exactly how much he swallowed. The bottle she drank from is empty. It spilled everywhere when she dropped it, but I think this is the same stuff. Have you got the original container the substance was in? No, it, uh, it comes like this. You see, there's a fellow who works on the corp. He gets it for me on the cheap. Was it a lemo bottle? No wonder she drank it, you dickhead! Advance it! Simba, stop it! Hey, the explosion wasn't enough, was it? Look, leave her out Now you're trying friend. to poison my little girl! I'm going to kill you for this! I've got I want to go too! Yeah, well, they won't let you. Now, why are you trying to put someone else in the hospital? <sighs> I think we may have got a bit carried away there. I mm, think you could <laughs> say that. Oh, not again. Oh. I don't want anybody taking you away. Like you? Oh, someone wants a job, an emergency or something. I think I'm already a bit busy, don't you? <laughs> you are. And I might have a few odd jobs I need you to do around this place. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> oh, thank goodness for that. I thought they'd never give up. 
But it was Margie checking up to see how I was getting on with the extension. She's going to go mental if I don't get it finished soon. Oh, you shouldn't let her bully you. It's a bit late for her to stop now. Was she always so... Um... Narky. Well, forceful. It was one of the first things I liked about her. She wasn't like other girls. Always spoke her mind. Still does. Stranger thing would attract us to someone in the first place, isn't it? With Max, it was his vulnerability. And what about the second time round? Oh, I think I knew it was a mistake the second time around. It just made me want him more. I was determined to make it work. Not that it made much difference. I think you can tell whether or not you were the right person. I'm not saying it's easy, but you can. As you just know. Yeah. Any guilt? How do you mean? Being in bed with me. Of course not. Even on Father's Day. I don't care what day it is. I'm here because I want to be. <laughs> Good. Have I got you for the rest of the day then? I'm all yours. Mm. <laughs> Good. Look, it was an accident, all right? How come it's always me that comes out worse whenever you have an accident? Let's go, sir. This is all because he wants to save a few lousy pence. My daughter could have been scared for life or worse because of you. So you end up getting nipped. Ah, so what? What have I got to lose, eh? What? Nothing. Might as well just forget it. Mind you what? It's not worth it. That's better. None of this is going to get you nowhere. Just think about Ruth for you. Just leave it, will you, Pops? It's not worth the aggro. He's just a bit upset. Upset? He's a flaming nutcase. You won't lock him up, you. Do you know that? I was Rachel. I wouldn't want you anywhere near me. Simbad! <laughs> <laughs> 